What's up? Hello and welcome to the Speaking English Podcast. I'm your host, Sebastian, and this is episode 195, and we'll talk about food. Today's episode will be a new format. We'll call it Show and Tell. Show and Tell, there will not be a quick answer. Anissa sent in the question, can you talk about food? And I said, any food? And she said, yes, any food. So I decided that we will talk about pepper and paprika because you may know this. Now, where I live, this is called paprika or we say paprika. However, in most English speaking countries, this is a pepper, a bell pepper to be specific. You can find it in yellow, red, green, orange. And by the way, this one, is a not so great shape, it won't be long until it goes bad. When the fruit is no longer good, we say it has gone bad. Now, paprika, bell pepper. There is a spice called paprika. It comes from this, but in the English speaking world, this is called a bell pepper and the spice going with it is called paprika. Now, this being called a pepper, should not be confused with this. These are peppercorns. Peppercorns go into a pepper mill. This pepper and this pepper actually are very different things. This grows on a plant. This is the plant. These are harvested as such and then will be ground. This grows as such and then will be dried. To make matters worse, we have cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is actually from the family of chilies, not from the family of peppers, although it is called pepper. To be scientifically correct, these peppers come from the genus of piper, these from the family of capsicum. Now cayenne pepper, which is called pepper, but actually comes from the family of chilies, is hot. It's a hot spice, as is this. This is your basic chili. It's a hot pepper. I've seen various descriptions of these jalapenos could be green or red, but some say jalapenos are green. In terms of pronunciation, jalapeno, jalapeno, the J, in the beginning of the word is not pronounced like a j but like a like an h it's also san jose not san jose and these come in different forms and shapes and different grades of hotness measured in scoville something that i have no knowledge about so please don't get angry at me because i'm saying it wrong these where i live are also called pepperoni especially when you put them in a salad. To make it even more complicated, there's also a pepperoni salami, meaning there's there's a salami which is hot. And I imagine it's flavored with something like this, but I don't know, I have never seen one made. And then there's this. In Germany, these are sold as frying paprikas. Obviously, a pepper, chili, and the story here is that they are harvested before they are fully grown. To sum up, as you can see, there is no short version today. We have the real pepper of the pipa family. We have cayenne pepper, which is called pepper, but made from the chili plant. We have this thing, which in English speaking countries is called a bell pepper, but we in Germany call it paprika and have also a powder spice for that, which is called paprika in the English speaking countries. I haven't showed these yet. These are dried chili. So if you ground these up, you'll get chili powder, which I don't have here. And then we have the obvious chili fruits, which you just cut and put in your meal directly in various sizes and colors. This one is called pepperoni where I live. And we have this one, which again, I call a fry paprika, but in other parts of the world it's called pimento. 
let me know what all of these things are called where you live and let me know what I should do next for show and tell. Thanks for watching. Take care.